So, you've once again rolled up to my throne of bare toilet paper tubes and discarded Bastion Funko Pops asking for last minute stonks advice. Well, my little investment tadpole, you and I are off on a long journey into the unknown to catch ourselves some local Chinese produce. The Chengdu Hunters, then. Long known as the team that opts into ball play regardless of how appropriate it may be, like a strange man you try not to make eye contact with on a bus that isn't nearly full enough for your liking. The Chengdu Hunters move into 2021 with a roster bursting at the seams, with 12 rostered players and half of them being fresh additions. Now, I think we can all agree that Chengdu's 2020 season was a touch uninspiring in the same way that, say, a mahogany dining table is a touch unfuckable. But still, six fresh additions to the team, including a second tank who's actually in possession of an Overwatch account above Diamond, is a solid basis from which Chengdu can start to make some serious strides back towards relevance, and more importantly, value. Now, I've got it on good authority from this guy that Farway and Monk are both a flex support equivalents of an attack helicopter with naughty words tipexed on the side of it, and with about the same destructive potential, and that Jimmy is pretty good at hit scan. I'd say the cautionary words that I need to share before we go further with Chengdu is saying that if Leave has to play projectile DPS or Tracer in a meta that's dependent on a powerful main hit scan, expecting Jimmy to beat out Carpe, Kaylee, or Shy in that position would be akin to expecting a laptop to tap dance. Still, warning aside, I think the healthy skepticism that surrounds the Chengdu Hunters, and therefore the also deflated stock price, makes them a potentially attractive buy to make money towards the later season. Before I give you the sordid details that make the baby Jesus weep in sin-absolving terror, however, I've got a personal offer for you. If you invest one subscription into this here YouTube channel and one comment in the section below, you'll be in with a chance of winning a massive 24 Archives loot box dividend, which has been graciously provided by the wonderful folks over at Blizzard Entertainment for all of you Diamond Hand apes to struggle to open. Bear in mind these codes are for PC only, and best of luck. Now, for the big dick money moves. Gaga. No, not that one. Gaga, no, not that one is coming into the roster as another main tank and is, in my opinion, going to be the start of the team over Among and all but a few metas, as I would like for you to understand that Gaga, no, not that one, fucks with destructive power of the attack helicopter we mentioned earlier, but following American foreign policy. I think that this instrument of societal destruction, thinly masquerading as a man, has a good chance of outplaying many of his rivals within the Apex sphere and creating a strong beachhead, where before Chengdu relied upon Aimeng's ball, which at times was even less effective than the real life panda's wrecking balls. Sorry, lads. Still, kicks balls aside, let's move on to our final note, Team Chaser. He who must not be named upon pain of legal action from a Disney Corporation has confirmed to me that Team Chaser are indeed the shit, and seem to be the best team in Chinese contenders right now. And the important thing to note here is that Team Chaser is Chengdu's academy team, which means there's a solid wellspring of talent to plug any particularly exploitable holes this roster has later into the season. The only foreseeable issue therein would be trying to shuffle about 12 current players on the roster between the league and contenders teams like trying to make two hippos pass each other on a spiral staircase, but that's for the back rumours to figure out. So, that is our sweary, meandering, and of course, highly informative poke into a mysterious Chinese investment market where you could find yourself swimming in scrimbucks. Are you going to buy? Waiting until after the Valiant match? Not coming within 20 meters of these teams because they're just too unpredictable? Let me know down below, and always remember, this video is not financial advice.